We have a tragedy on the slopes to tell you about. A skier's body was found early this morning after crews started searching last night. Fox 13 News reporter Maitha Ligubi shares what we know so far. Also tips to help keep you and your family safe in the mountains. A devastating situation. 37 year old Devin O'Connell came here to solitude to ski Monday morning, but didn't make it back home. Ski patrol and search and rescue teams looked for him and unfortunately found his body Tuesday morning. Officials say it was an accident and he did all the right things. We know that he scanned onto a ski lift at 1203 and that's the last actual known location where he was. Sergeant Melody Cutler with UPD says Devin O'Connell came to solitude to ski and was supposed to be home around 2 p.m. When he didn't return at about 6.30 last night, his family called Solitude Ski Resort and reported him missing. And so their ski patrol began searching and notified us. And we went up along with uh, Salt Lake County Search and Rescue and Brighton sent some of their ski patrollers. We put up drones. We had rescuers on snowmobiles until about 1.30. The search was paused overnight when the conditions put the rescue personnel at risk. They started again at 7 a.m. this morning and part of the resort was closed at that time. He was found this morning about 815. He was just off of the sensation ski run in a group of trees where it looks like he went off the run. Cutler says he did have all the right gear and was an expert skier. Solitude Mountain Resort sent us a statement saying he was wearing a helmet and they send their deepest condolences to the family. One way to help keep you safe on the slopes. Make sure people know where you are when you're due home. That's really important and notify us sooner rather than later, um, especially if we can start searching when it's still daylight outside. Kai Fernandez, a skier at Solitude, says to try to not be on your own. Ski within your limits. If you're pushing your limits, go with somebody. Carry the right gear if you're not sure of the conditions or as an extra layer of protection. If I'm going to be skiing towards the end of the day or alone or if I'm going to ski a lot in the trees, like particularly by myself, even if I'm in bods, I do keep an avalanche beacon on me, turned on. Um, it just makes me a heck of a lot easier to find if, if it were to come down to that, if I were to get injured and not be able to self-evacuate. Kai adds that he does feel well taken care of when he's skiing here at Solitude. I feel super safe here. I think all the ski resorts in Utah, everywhere I've ever been, I've been consistently impressed uh, with the level of, of ski patrol response. At Solitude, I'm Mike the Deagle B. Fox 13 News, Utah.